So morning. Beautiful morning. We're going to cut this up and over roof here. So first thing I'm doing is this is where it's going to hang out, the overhang. So we're going to have a timber on the outside of here. So it's 200 soffit. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put the rafters to the right hand side. So I'm going to go through this and mark the ridge up both sides. So when it's up in the air, it's nice and easy. So what we've got is going to cut a boat here. Um, so we've got five AAE, that's our span. We've taken off the thickness of the timber, uh, the ridge board, sorry, 45. Hello, so we've got a pitch of 24. I've been through, and I've marked our ridge out all the way along, ready to go. So when it's in the air, it's nice and easy. Done the halving joint, we're going to splice that either side. Um, so I've got a span of 5880. So I'm going to take the thickness of the ridge off. The total span, that gives us 5835. Divide that by two, gives you that. My runner rafter per metre in the book is 1095. That times by that gives you a true length of 3194. So what we've done first is we've cut two patterns and we've just popped them up and just made sure that they're going to work. So we've propped them up. We're happy with that. Because before you go cutting 100 rafters, because you think the book's right, you just want to double check it. So we're happy with that and away we can go. So just show you how we're marking these out. So we know that the pattern works. So we're happy with that. So I've tried it loads of different ways, pattern on top, uh, marking them out individually. I think this one's pretty much the best way. So for this ridge here, we're only gonna put up six first, make sure it all works, and then we'll cut up a big rake of them. So maybe not of there, 3195. Sorry, 3194, 3194. Okay, I've put a mark there. Then I'm squaring that across, like so. Then we're going to fold. I've tried it with bevel, roofing square. I find that the easiest way. Okay, so really I'll need to be using my first fix pencil, not the second fix. So I can put the line there. So I'm bringing that. So once I've done the plumb, I'll just recap that. So I've done the plumb. I'm coming back up, sliding that up. So the back of the bird's mouth hits that plumb like that. And then I'm marking that. And then I'll go in with the skill saw and finish it with a hand saw. Nice one. So what we're doing here is I always fix the bird's mouth first, go along, fix the bird's mouth first, and I come up and do the plumb. So we've allowed an inch for the baton here. That was really just to make it easy for us when we were putting it up. And then I'm put, if you put one square through the top, it really draws that plumb cut in. And two in the side, two on the other side, really secure fixing. Yeah, so what I've done here is I've come out 185, 185 there, 185 up the other end and then strung the line through. What I'm really careful of is that if I'm leaving the line in, that my, my um, nail is that side of the line. Set the uh, roofing square to 24 degrees. I'll uh, just come through each one, marking them up. I used to do it with a boat level, but this is more accurate. The roof's 24 degrees. This has got to be 24 degrees as well. So it's really important to keep that straight. Ready, Phil. We're going to put a subfacer on there with a 50 mil kick for the time. Sure, this little detail here that we're doing. So we're just building a load, uh, little stud wall we are. So to keep the roof parallel, to keep it all nice and eliminate having a box gutter here, we came up above one course of block 
to the plan agreed with the customer. So we've kept our span 5880 all the way through. We've rested the, uh, the joist weight on the steel here and we're just gonna put a stud wall up underneath here, clad it in 11 mil OSB so that everything runs through parallel so there's no step in the roof or anything like yeah. that. So we've built the wall through here, cladded it, so this can lap up and then we'll clad it in plastic. We've done it before we put the joist on just because it's easier, but what we're gonna have to do is take 11 mil off the back of the bird's mouth on our pattern for this side. So we'll cut that side in first and then we'll adjust the pattern. So the advantage of using the boat is that the backing is all the same all the way through. So I'm just putting a line right from the other end and I'm just checking, it's touching all them rafters and that is nice and straight all the way through. Just a little tip here, when you're filling in, you want to do the opposites because otherwise if you go all one side, you'll bow it and then um, you can't get it back because of the weight. So I'm going to do opposites and then infill into sections like so. What we've done here. And as you can see, one of us is cutting, one of us is fixing. So what I'm doing is I'm coming through and I'm putting the bird's mouth nice and tight first, nailing that, and then I'm going up to fix the top. So previously in the video, you could see that we were cladding this wall here. So obviously with this OSB, it adds to the bird's mouth. So we want to keep a nice straight line through there. So all we're doing is with the, so mark it the same. And then all we do is we put that on there like so. Mark the back of it. And then we, we take that, that line there out. And then we just put a B on it because we know they go at the back. So we've got all the common rafters on now. We're going to start on the gables all the way through. So we've got everything on here, no problems. We've got the gable end going on now. Right, come down from the top, 600s, put a square line on it all the way down and then We've got 200 uh, soffit going on it. So 200 plus 100 minus the 45 of the rafter is a 265 noggin, but then we're going to give it five mil play. So Ian's cutting noggins 270 all the way up. So yeah. we wouldn't normally bring the ridge through on uh, a house here, but we are here, but this is a real easy way of marking your gable out. So you put the put that so rafter, upside down and then you can just mark it and then you know it's going to be parallel. New record that is mate. So just a quick recap, using a boat, all our measurements on here, 2880 is our span, we've taken the ridge off of that, gives us 5835, divided that by two, times by run of the rafter per metre, a pitch of 24, gives us a true length, 3194. Now the true length is across the top of the rafter. So from the very top, okay, go to the plumb cut, you just come on the other side there, yeah? in mate. That's our true length. So that angle there is 24 degrees as well. I'm just setting up now. Cut all the sails, sails off. So I've come 185. We're putting a subfacer on here for a 200 soffit. We're just going to run the line all the way through. And you can see down here. I've already marked them off. So I'll just drop the skill saw into that to cut them off. I know that a lot of you who comment on my videos are like, where's your skill saw? Well, we've got one now. <laughs> and that's a wrap. So we've had enough today. It's nearly nearly four o'clock. It's been a good day. We're going home. What I am going to do is I'm going to nominate, tribute this video to the guy who showed me everything I know, 
Paul Beeks, who sadly passed away the other month. He was a great chippy, great roofing chippy, so we're going to dedicate this video to him.